everyone, this is Jamie Sorensen here at Two Peas in a Bucket with another personal shopper video sharing my product recommendations for your um, different requests. I've had some requests for food and I thought I would combine food and home since um, food is such an important part of family life and being at home. Um, so I've pulled together some items around these two topics today and I had a lot of fun doing it so I hope you enjoy it. Um, the first is what I have here is a set of sticky notes um, that are in a kitchen theme and there's 480 decorative sticky notes in here and there's different sizes. You get a, some square, smaller um, square and I thought these would be really fun just to put in um, recipe books or magazines for recipes you want to try or this would be a great um, gift for someone, maybe a housewarming gift or something like that. Um, so these are sticky notes and brand new to this store um, are Hampton Art Stamps and we got this from Doodlebug and um, so they've partnered up with different manufacturers and I love the, the cute little chair and the three different houses, um, the cute little trees and icons, lots of different things here. Also from Doodlebug is one of their little Doodle Pops. It's a three-dimensional cardstock sticker. has a little bit of glitter on the heart coming out of the chimney and a little rhinestone for the doorknob, which is very cute. A few more stamps. I found quite a lot of stamps on this subject. This one is a recipe card stamp and it's just a really nice quality. Um, it comes in this really cool box. I've shown you a couple of the Ink and Wit stamps before. Um, and I just love the simple imagery of the, the different kitchen icons and that it says a recipe. And it has a little um, slot here for the date. So if you wanted to make a recipe book, um, this would be a great thing to create that with. There's also this cool kind of sketched design um, from Hero Arts. This one is from Unity and it's a cling stamp so you would cling it to a, an acrylic block and it's kind of hard to see from the stamp itself but there's um, a set of silverware there with a cute little heart at the bottom of each and it says sit, eat, enjoy. And then this one from Hero Arts, it has a newspaper kind of collage look and it's also a cling stamp. These two items are a little bit older, but um, I thought they are, they're still really cute and um, they're on sale right now. So I wanted to show you these. These are bobbles from Collage Press. Um, it's their older hometown summer collection and so it has um, these little images of different food with the watermelon, popsicle, and orange. A cute little boy and girl and then some little sparkly buttons throughout. And these are the rub-ons and they have a couple of little home icons. Very playful, very fun. Okay, a couple other pretty unique items that I wanted to show you was um, first this coaster, letterpress coaster set from One Canoe Two, and this is from our boutique section, so it's um, a handmade specialty item. And I thought this would be a great housewarming gift as well, or just something to kind of treat yourself. They're letterpress, so they're hand done where the ink is set into the, um, the, piece here and it's all things that are round and so it had this really cute donut, a pie, pin cushion, dandelion, little phone, the world, I love that little airplane going around, an apple core, and a bird. So these were really fun and make a great conversation piece also in a home and it comes with this really cool little packaging. Also in our boutique section is this card set, also letterpress um, with all the different sweets and pies and cakes. Um, this would be a great thank you card set for someone who maybe had to over for dinner or just a card to let them know, let someone know you think they're sweet. Okay, so moving on to a couple paper collections. Um, this is brand new to the store and it's the American Crafts 
um, collection that is called Freshly Squeezed. Oops, I had a, one other stamp stuck in there. I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, so the Freshly Squeezed line has some great things that would be suitable for like a recipe book or just documenting your home and kitchen. We see a little teapot, lots of things having to do with jam, um, fruits and preservings, preserves, and a sticker sheet, Warren you glad we met, my recipes, we're quite a pair, very cute. There's also these cute little recipe cards. I'll open them up so you can see. Oops, there's a tab in here. I don't want to wrinkle that. So the top of these, each one is a little bit different, so it makes it fun if you put these in a box. They've got the different shaped tabs on top. And they're double-sided where there's a pattern on each side. You could even scrapbook with these and, I mean, not to put them in a recipe box, but you could just put it on a page and tuck maybe a family recipe, favorite family recipe inside. The patterns that coordinate, of course, are an American Crafts Fresh Bright Color Palette. This one has a little bit of glitter finish to it and it's called Cherry Syrup. This is Plum Schmear. This is Peach Preserves. Orange Marmalade. Pear Jelly. The little blue flowers on here have a touch of glitter on them, not too much. Raspberry Jam. And then they have the quadrant of the different patterns on the back. And Apple Butter. And the little Apple Butter has this cute, um, or Apple Design has this cute crisscross and some glitter on it as well. You get lots of polka dots. One last paper collection I wanted to share with you is the Farmhouse Collection from Crate Paper. Um, this we've had, it's not, I think this was released at the CHA before this last one. Um, last CHA summer, I think. Um, but it's still a really popular line in the store. And it has all these great cozy patterns that remind one of home. And then it brings in kind of a kitchen theme to it too. So as you can see, you get two patterns in the collection pack that I have in front of me. That one was called Hand Picked. This is Cross Stitch. Homemade, and it's a really subtle kind of tone on tone. It looks like a subtle cross stitching pattern back there. This is Sunday Dinner, Cupboard, here we have all these different um, produce labels, vintage labels, and it's appropriately named Produce. Looks like a farmer's market box. And it's called Farmer's Market. Cute little cherries inside a scallop circle. This one is called Apple Pie. But those are apples, not cherries. Then the collection kit also comes with two 6x12 um, cardstock sticker sheets. So you get these borders and then the labels. I like that little ticket with the cross heart, um, cross stitched heart on there. Farmer's Market. Very cute. And then here's the 12 by 12 die cut sheet. So it has lots of icons of home, the different lamps, a cute little couch down here. I would like that couch in my home. Um, a vase of flowers, different canisters, a clock. Um, very cozy. I love the warm tones in this collection. 
Um, I think it was done really well. Um, so that concludes today's video for the home and food edition. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to leave a comment. For this week, I'm going to give away a collection kit from Lawn Fawn. I just shared this collection with you recently when we were looking at um, spring, I think it was. Um, this is the Bright Side collection and it's brand new to the store and so I'm excited I get to give one away. Um, so don't forget with your comments, I'd also love to hear your product requests. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll want to leave the comment on the video page on Two Peas in a Bucket. Finally, if you've made a request, um, for future videos. Um, I'd also encourage you to check out the video page um, because some topics I've covered and I've gotten requests for since then. So things like wedding and um, boy um, and girl, um, a few things I've covered. So I definitely want you to check out those, but I'll, I'm sure I'll be doing more on those again in the future. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.